The Zora's tunic will let you breathe underwater, essentially. So yeah, that's all always awesome to, you know, have a true friend. The passion of friendship soon blossoms into the righteous power. Blah, blah, blah. So now we get the third song, and with this we can actually go back to the past. We can become a little kid again. What this, what the... By having these songs, it tricks the game into thinking you've actually completed all three of the dungeons. Whereas you don't actually have to complete all three of the dungeons. The game just goes on and assumes that you... Yeah that you went through the trouble of actually going through the dungeons before heading to the next one. And once again, there is a reason for why I do everything in this game, viewers. Because since this is so far really close to the Zelda game, I can generally play it how I usually play Ocarina of Time. So, I can just turn the fuck around, Hook shot back across and head on out of Death Mountain. Where uh upon getting back over here, there we go. We can climb on up and there we go. Get on out of here. Where we can actually start a few other side quests. One of them being this giant Goron who. How you do? Opened up a store. With... Yeah, however, I'm better at making blades. So yeah, basically this guy, he, uh, yeah, you just have to talk to him. We'll be able to actually do that side quest after we complete Death Mountain. Go on and just take that old tactic of rapidly stacking up and nothing will ever be able to hit you, even if it targets you. I could drop down there, get some moo juice, all that fun stuff, but I don't feel like it. Because we gotta make our way down Death Mountain. Now that we've got all three songs, I'm gonna go get Epona. By of course taking a bit of damage because I like taking shortcuts and I don't have to worry about my armor breaking or anything like that. And now that we're back in Kakariko Village. I failed to point out a few things. Since Hyrule Ca since the marketplace in Hyrule Castle is down, the old shop owners are now here in Kakariko Village. So, what does that mean? Well, absolutely bunkus. But... Talon is here as well. We have to actually talk to all three people in here in order to get this side quest. Yeah. We got tits, but a goatee. That's a little too weird for my liking. Their uh, their game. Try a little harder next time, please. Anyways, now it's time for us to head all the way back to Lon Lon Ranch. Ranch to Lon Lon. <sighs> ah. 
I know, I know, viewers, I am all over the place, not even going to a single fucking dungeon. But this is my own personal way of playing through these games. If I don't have to go through a dungeon yet, you can be guaranteed that I'm not going to. And since I'm pretty sure I'm still able to go back in time now I've got all three of those songs, I'm not going to be going to the forest dungeon for a little while anyways, because I, as I stated earlier, like getting the Lens of Truth before getting, well, pretty much anything else. Because you need minimal items to get the Lens of Truth. Anyways, now that I have talked to uh, those three people over in Kakariko Village, come on in here and talk to you as well. Where'd you come from? Don't you remember me? Your father asked me to marry you seven years ago, I think. So yeah, now that we've talked to all three of those people, talking to Talon starts the side quest, talking to the middle lady in the house advances the plot of the side quest, and now that we've got others, uh, now that we've talked to Malin, we can come over here and talk to this guy. Don't be ridiculous. The name's Ludacris. I'm Chuck Norris, motherfucker. I'm gonna punch a mountain and make it cry Mountain Dew. <sighs> Gamer drink of choice. Dr. Pepper. Because I hate Mountain Dew. <sighs> sure, why the hell not? I got plenty of money. I already know how to ride ass wad. Now then, in order to actually do this, wait for it. No. There we go. Play Epona song. This will get Epona to appear. Who is this one right here? We will have to have some Christmas cheer and some beer. in order to steer our way to some other thing that rhymes with ear. But yeah, just uh... There we go. Get the money from both of those, that will get you the refund on the money you wasted to uh... This guy. I don't want to go home. I think I gotta go backwards. Fail. I'll get this eventually. You got it. Yeah. Fine, I'll listen to you. How to Ride Justin. There we go. Yeah, see that... Sometimes Miss Epona here won't actually appear until you, uh... uh unless you, uh, call her after the timer has started. And 
again, classic cases of Epona just disobeying direct orders from the captain. I think you gotta spend a certain amount of money in order to get him to uh, let you race and stuff. You're getting better. A little race with me? There we go. Yeah, you gotta spend a little bit of money. Uh, you gotta spend 20 rupees in order to race him. And racing this guy is not actually all that hard. Just get all the way down to one carrot and hold off. Once the carrot recharges, nail it again. There we go. This guy is not actually all that hard to beat. See? 26 seconds. One more race. Yes, we actually have to race this guy twice. But once again, it's the same exact tactic, only as you can see, Ingo here is going to stay, try and... Ah, fuck. I just lost it. Um, yeah, you can keep him from taking the lead if you just kind of sit in front of him. He'll kind of push you along, but... Yeah, if you accidentally end up using that last carrot, he will end up... He'll end up, uh, he'll end up slowing down tremendously. I actually got lucky there. Either way... <laughs> As promised, I'll give you the horse to you. I'll give you the horse to you, yes! However, I'll never let you leave this ranch. Watch me. Yeah! See ya, bitch! And now we have Epona. Where we can actually now start the side quest for the big Goron sword. So, I'll be back in a couple seconds, viewers.